Enjoy. Don't come back without anything. It was great to have Peter show us around in the last video. We shopped for fresh produce at the farmer's markets using our limited basic French and explored the old Medina in Hammamet, learning a lot more about the Muslim culture. Having visited the Sahara earlier, we knew that the sand was not like the beach sand that we know. It was more like talcum powder. And it's understandable that when the wind comes from the south, this happens. <laughs> so now, it's back to boat jobs. Cleaning and home improvements. Meet Mike Turner. He introduced himself to us when we first arrived. He and his wife Jo were great hosts, introducing us to other yachties and Tunisians and their local, the African Queen. Why don't you come to the pub and he'll invite you to the party. Next to Port Yasmin is a beach lined with tourist hotels and the odd dromedary. Typically, it rains, just after we pay for water to wash the deck. This time, it was a big storm, causing damage, flooding, and seven deaths in the towns. They had six months worth of rain and five hours. We employed a local man who polished White Arrow and Gavin spent time making some booster seats for when we were at the helm. We folded and stored our sails, ready for wintering. Our marina neighbours, Anna and John, are architects from Portugal and Australia. They are sailing the Ned with Ella. She's still asleep. Look, she's still asleep. She jumps. Our morning walks were made more fun by discovering that the Posidonia seagrass is rolled into perfect size balls. While Anna and John went on the Sahara tour, we looked after Ella for the weekend. About 15 minutes walk from Port Yasmin is Carthage Land, where Disneyland meets Tunisia. We stop and have a coffee. At the entrance to Carthage Land, there are these impressive life-size sculptures of Hannibal's return to Tunisia, or Carthage. 
Tunisians are not used to seeing larger dogs on leads. After the sleepover, Anna invited us to her galley for a lesson in a traditional Tunisian dish. We're all from different countries, so she had to translate into French, Brazilian, and English. Traditional, the traditional is, Maggie says, the yes. traditional is yes. carrots, cabbage, onion, and a bit of chickpeas. And, and we need a pot, oh, okay, like a steam pot. Oh, a steam okay. pot. Okay. Yes. Alors, oui. Si toi, tu as un peu de temps, tu as Needs to be done with the hands. Toujours je fais avec les petits pour ça. On utilise seulement le 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 gros. Non. Au saufino. Elle 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 est plus nue. Et c'est la meilleure partie. Voilà. Je vois là. Bravo. Namorada, você quer ser minha amada, minha amada mais amada para valer aquela amada. A Brazilian neighbors Rita and Ruben are also sailing the mir, and their old boat is is Fedoris. While John flew back to Australia for a few weeks, we kept Anna company. Mint tea and shopping at the Medina is a great way to pass the time. Mike is a great engineer, and on this day, he installed a water filtration system for us. A bit like the nearest McDonald's. Okay, so. Adele and Mouse, the local upholsterers, worked on new screens and new seat cushions for us. Linda and Keith are Australians with a brand new Fountain Peugeot. The newer model of the one that we owned back in New Zealand. They took us out for a day's sail.
And the pirate ships come and go, giving tourists a small taste of life at sea. Hello. 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 Oh, la, 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 you. Você tem que vir comigo em meu caminho E talvez o meu caminho seja triste pra você E os seus olhos tem que ser só dos meus olhos Os seus braços do just say what I just thought he said? Probably. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and click the little bell to be notified first when we post new videos. If you'd like to help us out with making these videos, there's a link to us on Patreon in the description below. <laughs>